Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to be integrating an interesting function. We have x to the fifth power multiplied by e to the x cubed dx, and we're going to be integrating this function. Now, when you look at a problem like this, a lot of times you are thinking about two things. If you have a polynomial multiplied by an exponential function, most of the time we either use integration by parts or we use u substitution. It doesn't have to be u, but u is kind of fun because we say to you sometimes, right? We get the birthday song. So are we going to use substitution or integration by parts? That's an interesting question. So you can kind of explore if I were to use integration by parts. As you know, integration by parts is you have something like u is just the u. So you have something like, uh, let's say, u times dv, where u and v are functions of x, let's say. And this can be written as uv minus the integral of v du. So that is integration by parts, right? So this is what you're looking for. You're looking for a function that is somewhat easy to differentiate and another function should be easy to integrate. Well, let's take a look at it. Is e to the power x cubed easy to integrate? I don't think so. That's definitely not that. Well, then let's assume that it's easy to differentiate. Then we're going to be looking at x to the fifth power, right? So, for example, what happens if I do the following? Okay, this looks like an easy to differentiate function. So, let's go ahead and call that u. u equals e to the x cubed. And from here, I'm getting du. Obviously, you're going to use the chain rule. 3x squared times e to the power x cubed. Oops. I messed up on that one. e to the power x cubed. That's my du. And then dv is, needs to be, of course, the, I don't need the integration symbol. I'm going to use it next. So suppose dv is equal to x to the fifth dx. By integrating dv, you're going to get v, right, which is the integral of x to the fifth dx without the c. Let's just write without the c for now. x to the sixth over six. Okay. Now, when you put it together in our uh, integration by parts formula, whatever you want to call that, we're going to get uv, so like this and then like that, and there's going to be a minus sign here, obviously, right? So it's going to look like this, x to the 6 over 6 times e to the power x cubed minus v du is going to give you 3x squared multiplied by this, so it's going to be like a 1 half. You can pull the 1 half outside, and then inside we're going to be getting something like x to the 6 multiplied by e to the x cubed and dx. Now notice that this integral here is not simpler than what we started with. So it's getting more and more complicated, which means that integration by parts is not a good idea. Well, then we're going to go for substitution. But here's the problem. If you just use substitution, like let's go, what are you going to do? Okay, you want to call this u? Well, if you do, then you're not going to get the derivative. If you call this u, you're not going to get the derivative either because the derivative of x cubed is x squared and we have x to the fifth power. Here we go. This is where the trick begins. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. We have x to the fifth, e to the power x cubed dx. So I'm going to separate the x to the fifth into two pieces. One of them is going to be x cubed. That's going to go with e to the x cubed. And the rest is going to be x squared dx. Awesome. Now, this is really awesome because I can use substitution. How do I use it? Well, we can replace u with x cubed because from here, du, and remember, to find du, you have to differentiate x cubed and then multiply by dx. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, so du is equal to 3x squared dx. We don't have 3x squared, but that's perfectly fine because I can just attach a 3 here and multiply by one third from outside. So it'll be balanced. Great. So now we have pretty much everything we need. So we can write it as one third multiply by x cubed, but x cubed is u, and then e to the power x cubed is going to be e to the power u, or since we're going to, let's, let's go ahead and do this. I don't want to use a u here because I'm going to use the u later, so let's go ahead and use a different variable. How about y? And don't ask why, why I use y, but y equals x cubed, dy is 3x squared dx. So then x cubed is going to be replaced with y, then we have e to the power y and dy. Great. So now this function can be integrated using what? Integration by parts. Great. So let's go ahead and use integration by parts here. So what am I going to do? 
something easy to integrate, something easy to differentiate. Well, in this case, e to the power y is really cool because you can just integrate and differentiate however many times you want. It won't change. It's really cool. So let's go ahead and pick our u to be y because y is polynomial and its derivative is going to make it simpler. So from here, we get du is equal to dy because u is equal to y. Basically, that's what it is. And then what happens? Well, from here, we get the dv. dv is equal to e to the power y dy. And it's going to be v is, is going to be the integral of e to the power y dy, which is e to the power y. And then, as you know, we're going to go diagonally, multiply these, and subtract that. There's going to be a minus sign here. So this is going to equal one third of u times v. u times v is y times e to the power y minus the integral of v times du, which is e to the power y dy. And as you know, the integral of e to the power y is fairly simple. Let's go ahead and integrate that. This is going to give us 1 over 3 y e to the power y minus e to the power y. And at the end, we can just go ahead and attach our constant. Let's make sure we add the constant. Otherwise, we're going to lose points, right? Our professor is going to be mad. So now, we're going to back substitute. So we said that y is supposed to be x cubed. So let's go ahead and replace y with x cubed and see what happens. This gives us x times e to the power x cubed. I mean x cubed times e to the power x cubed minus e to the power x cubed plus c. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.